Welcome to a new video. In this video I want to do a camera comparison between the Sony Xperia 1 Mark III against the Google Pixel 6. We will compare photography and videography, so photos and videos. So let's get started. First we want to check out the specs of those two camera monsters. On the Xperia we have a triple 12 megapixel lens set up with this uh, periscope zoom lens that has a variable zoom and on the Google Pixel we have a 50 megapixel main sensor which is very very large and a 12 megapixel Oh, a little bit of smaller sensor for the ultra wide angle. So I show you all the specs left and right and you can yeah, decide which one has the better camera system in your opinion. And what we want to do now is taking a look at some photos and video samples. So I'll first start with the selfie video. This is now the front facing camera of the Xperia 1 mark 3 and 1080p 30 frames per second which is the maximum that you can do on the front facing shooter is it really good no amongst the flagships i think this is the one with the weakest front camera and you can clearly see it though i think for video for vlogging for casual stuff if you have enough light just like i now have right here it is okay it ca could be better for front-facing video and also stabilization, I think, suffers a little bit, but I think it is not the worst. Let's compare it with the front-facing video camera of the Google Pixel 6. And now the Google Pixel 6 uh, front-facing camera. I think it might be a little bit wider, I'm not sure. Um, but uh, yeah, stabilization, how is that? And uh, audio quality, I'm using my same Sony wireless microphone, so it should be not a big difference in terms of this. Dynamic range, you see a little bit of blue there, but you also saw it on the Xperia. So this is, I think, not so much of an issue. But the wilder field of view, I think, is better uh, suited for uh, vlogging. And uh, this one also, I think, only has 1080p, 30 frames per second. At least from looking at the screen is what I get. I don't see any settings to change this, which is a bit weird. And by the way, the Google Pixel 6 and the Xperia 1 Mark III are running the latest software. I got a software update today for the Sony Xperia 1 Mark III and a couple of days ago also a software update installed on the Pixel 6. Let's check out the main back cameras. And this is now the main camera of the Sony Xperia 1 Mark III and it has excellent stabilization. I think I'm recording with the Video Pro. No, I'm recording with the Photo Pro app and because it has better focusing for me. And uh, yeah, uh, recording during the, with the same exact microphone uh, during a day that's a bit of cloudy, but there you can see a little bit of blue thing in the sky. So how's dynamic range so in the background maybe as well if i stretch my arm a little bit this is the 24 millimeter equivalent uh, camera here on the xperia 1 mark 3 and it's working fine so far i would say you get a little bit of background blur this is the ideal camera if you want to do vlogging on this and uh, yeah what you cannot do on this one is switch during recording so this is something to switch to the ultra wide angle or to the zoom lens is not possible you can crop in or zoom in on the main sensor but that's it basically um, how's the quality, how's stabilization and uh, now let's check out the Pixel 6. And now I'm recording with the Pixel 6 main 50 megapixel super large sensor. Uh, I did not mention I am recording in 1080p 60 frames per second on both because this is the timeline that I use and this is what I use usually for vlogging. Of course they can go to 4k 30 frames per second as well. The Xperia even 4k 120 frames per second if you use Cinema Pro or the Video Pro app which is like Cinema Pro is installed already and only allows you for slow motion to record stuff in 120 frames per second. But a Video Pro allows you to record full 120 frames per second in 4k that you can later yeah do whatever you want to do with it large large file sizes so i'm not checking this out but uh, yeah this is the uh, quality this is the video quality that you can get on uh, the google pixel 6 main camera you get a little bit more background blur i'm pretty sure of it but uh, the sensor size is so large that it could be that my nose is in focus or my eyes are in focus but nose is not or my ears are not in focus so there's a such 
a little bit of a problem sometimes with such large sensors and such large apertures on those devices. So this is stabilization, these are the colors, dynamic range, yeah, you probably see a little bit there of blue sky in the background maybe there. Uh, otherwise this is uh, yeah, a very gloomy day, not good for high dynamic range tests, but in general the Pixel 6 should perform a little bit better when it comes to high dynamic range. Though the Xperia 1 Mark III has an S up its sleeve because it has also uh, the option to record in HDR video mode, which I didn't use yet, uh, but I can do this as well to show you the differences. Uh, what I want to show you right now is that they are in 1080p, 60 frames per second, is also the possibility to go out into the ultra wide angle 12 megapixel sensor, and this is the ultra wide angle right now, so I can do this. I can even crop in if I want to, which is like a zoom in option. I don't show you this because it's usually bad and yeah not the best but this is the ultra wide angle that you can expect on the Google Pixel 6 and now let's compare it with the ultra wide angle on the Xperia 1 Mark III. And now the ultra wide angle 12 megapixel sensor on the Xperia 1 Mark III. 1080p 60 frames per second is also possible here and what what do you see there? This is the sun Ooh, in the middle of winter. Dynamic range test. With the ultra wide angle it's a bit unfair because it's not the best in terms of uh, di high dynamic range and you get some flare even though it should have like a glass lens in front, size T star coating. I'm not sure if it's only for the main or also the... because it looks like it's just one glass piece for all three lenses but mm. uh, this is the ultra wide angle on the Xperia 1 Mark III. Uh, 1080p 60 frames per second. What do you think about stabilization colors and the sound quality? Here's the thing. This is now 1080p 30 frames per second HDR video mode on the Xperia 1 Mark III. The problem with HDR video mode is it gets a bit dark if you don't have enough sunlight like I have right now and I have to edit this in post to make it a little bit brighter. The sun is coming out right now so my face should be illuminated very nice and uh, what we can try to do is like facing the sun to see if we get nice HDR effect here. I think there's some maybe a little bit of problem here and there with the, the coating and the sun flare but this is yeah directly looking into the sun probably not the best thing that you can do if you want to do a nice vlog but yeah HDR video mode is enabled here and it is available here for the, for the Xperia 1 Mark III which is I think a nice option to have if you have uh, summer again and or you are like in Australia or New Zealand right now where they have summer and uh, catch another nice little summer breeze and uh, sun. Uh, this is yeah HDR mode on the Xperia 1 Mark III and uh, yeah have to edit this in post like I said 1080p 30 or 4k 30 is allowed only so you don't have the option to record in 60 frames per second with HDR enabled. Uh, probably something yeah, that is a limitation of the processor itself or the uh, algorithm that Sony is using here on the Xperia 1 Mark III. So does it make sense to use the zoom lens on the Xperia 1 Mark III for this kind of shot? This is roughly three times zoom and I'm walking so you can see stabilization is pretty good. It's uh, 1080p 30 frames per second though. Uh, this is why stabilization is so good probably. What I can do is of course zoom in a little bit, but this is just a crop in to 8.8 .8 times right now. You can still read stuff, it still looks okay, but yeah, it's not the best and you cannot switch to the 105mm uh, zoom range on uh, the One Mark III. For this you have to really stop and start again. Now I'm at 4.4 times zoom. And I can zoom in to 12.5 times and it still looks okay, maybe a little bit better than before. Stabilization suffers a little bit in this uh, mode and if I walk right now you can see probably it will do some stabilization stuff which is still awesome for this kind of real zoom lens but still it is a little bit of yeah, wobbly and you can see that I'm walking with a zoom lens which has not the best stabilization but still awesome that the Xperia 1 Mark III has this option at all. And now the video mode on the Google Pixel 6 where I can have like ultra wide angle, one time zoom and even two times zoom here. You can see super aggressive HDR, 1080p 60 frames per second. So I can even zoom in a little bit more. This is now three times here. Uh, 
and uh, then we have 4.4 times here and we can also go up to seven times but you can see in the zoom range the Xperia 1 Mark III definitely wins in stabilization because it's a crop in on the main sensor of course stabilization if I walk a little bit is super super smooth and impressive here but this is just because it's yeah a crop in on this lens just zooming in and uh, yeah stabilization is good there what we want to do now is compare a little bit of photos here and there so let's take a look at the photos with the Google Pixel 6 and the Xperia 1 here we have the photos on the left, always the Pixel 6, and on the right the Xperia 1 Mark III. One thing I have to say before we do the comparison, they are very very close and I was surprised by the performance of the Xperia 1 Mark III that usually all the people tend to say has worse quality. So what we can see here first on the first glance is the, the dynamic range and the HDR enhancement is like set to 100 on the Pixel 6 apparently and looks like super super artificial on the Pixel 6 and it looks a bit more realistic on the One Mark 3. So if you want realistic photos take the One Mark 3. That's basically my verdict already. Because we had a winter day not a summer day and on the Pixel 6 it looks like a summer day with very blue sky and no this is not how the sky looked like. The Xperia 1 Mark 3 got the sky right. It's a bit of more orangey and you can see it clearly in the sign here it's not this cooled down green here, it is more this warmer green that we see on the One Mark III. In terms of uh, colors, uh, this is yeah, the, the thing. We can see also the exposure, high dynamic range again. The Pixel 6 tends to lift up shadows a little bit more. The Xperia One Mark III tends to keep them like they are. So this is why you can see more brighter photos on the Pixel 6 in general and more darker on the One Mark 3. Does it look a bit dull on the One Mark 3? I'm not so sure. You can write down in the comment section what you think about it. When we take a look at sharpness on something like this, we don't see much of a difference. Only when you go to the extremes, like I've go to the extreme edge here and go to extreme edge here, you can see that the sign of the street is sharper on the One Mark 3 and also the sign for the speed limit is a bit sharper on the One Mark III but this you only see when you go to the extreme and uh, this is nothing that the Pixel 6 can really fix because it is simply the lens that is better on the One Mark III uh, glass lens first of all but in general Sony has a bit more experience when it comes to producing good lenses when we take a look at the ultra wide angle nothing here so dramatic they look almost the same identical to the main lens but just a wider field of view from the field of view and the wideness i think they are very comparable there's maybe a little bit when we take a look at the edge here maybe a little bit more wideness on the xperia 1 mark 3 as you can see here the white and here the white and there's still a car and when we go to the other edge uh let's go to the other edge here can see the car here. I think we can even see a little bit more of the car on the One Mark III as well. When we are at the edges already, what we can see is also that the One Mark III again wins and the edges sharper in every form or way. This is like very, very soft here already, and the building is like stretched out. Here also stretched out, not so much, it's still standing straight, and you can see uh, sharpness also in the sign again is there. High dynamic range effect again it is the pixel 6 that takes this this is like the instagram like or uh, social media ready shot when it comes to sharpness here what we can see in the middle is the softening or the noise reduction going on in the pixel 6 so the structure is a bit lost in this building and the xperia 1 mark 3 doesn't have this it has also a little bit of noise reduction going on already but not as aggressive on the as on the pixel 6 which leads to more sharpness you can see this also here or more details you can see this also in the in the tree here a bit more brighten up a bit darker here but there's more sharpness there is still uh, also here in the street sign there is more information on the one mark three for some reason even though both are i think 12 megapixel photos here when we zoom in, of course, the advantage goes to the Xperia 1 Mark III, it's native 2.9 zoom, and the Pixel 6, uh, the only option that you have there in the camera natively is like two times zoom. It's not, it's a digital crop basically in the main lens sensor, and you can see it already. Uh, first of all, noise reduction, you see already a bit of um, pixelating, and you don't have this at all on the 1 Mark III. So zoom, even if I go to the same 2.9 times zoom, 
again a bit brighter exposure on the left on the right we have uh, yeah the sharper photo just simply optical zoom beats the digital uh, cropping this is the maximum on the pixel 6 which is seven times and here we have 4.4 times with the xperia 1 mark 3's 4.4 times lens um, the variable zoom lens it's a bit softer as you can see here already but it is still good and great and uh, the maximum zoom is 12 times you can go in here and if i go in here you can see okay it's very pixelated but if i go in here it's even more pixelated and you can see yeah the clear winner is in terms of zooms the xperia 1 mark 3 maybe i should have compared the 1 mark 3 with the pixel 6 pro if i would have a pixel 6 would have a pixel 6 pro then i would have done it but i don't have i don't own a pixel 6 pro um, that would be probably more interesting. Here we have a close-up shot where I wanted to check how the bokeh performance is. We know that the Pixel 6 has a larger sensor, 1 over 1.3 inch size sensor and the Xperia 1 Mark 3 1 over 1.7 inch size sensor. Both managed to get like an out of focus area in the front and back and the photo looks pretty nice when I zoom in but we see more details on the Pixel 6 clearly. Even though the shallow, more shallow depth of field on the Pixel 6 a little bit more a shallow depth of field uh, the bokeh very similar very similar when you take a look at the bokeh in the background it's a bit noisy and a bit noisy here let's go up here in the street sign the only difference is again hdr you can see more hdr effect here where this is blown out already the bokeh balls i have to say it looks a bit better on the one mark three uh, the bokeh looks a bit more natural and here it looks like a bit too round and a little bit too artificial on the Pixel 6 but both I think captured this nicely there's more detail there's a bit more um, contrast I think as well on the Pixel 6 and here on the one mark 3 it's lacking a bit in terms of how to shoot such thing so low the one mark 3 makes more sense because it has a button on the top that you can press and it's much more easier much easier than uh, the, the to press the button in this coldness with the finger I have to say we take a look at the next one to check how colors are again you can see directly in the background this is like dark really really dark here it sh yeah lets the shadows be shadows and here it is brightening up everything on the pixel 6 so hdr again is um, better on pixel 6 we have a bit more dramatic effect though on the xperia 1 mark 3 so the clouds the rainy clouds they really look like rain clouds here it looks like oh, a little bit of a darker cloud but not like a rain cloud when we take a look at the brightness and uh, uh, colors we can see that i think both nailed the orange color pretty much the same a little bit brighter on the pixel 6 because the pixel 6 ev everything was a little bit brighter you can see even the darks here uh, we were raised to the black it's black here so it's darker there and you can see it also here in the in the text it is really this dark so the pixel 6 is doing some artificial uh, brightening up the scene which is not always preferred i would say especially if you want to create dramatic effects but you can of course turn this off if you don't want to uh, have this uh, both photos here taken with the automatic node the basic mode on the xperia 1 mark 3 and the automatic mode on the Pixel 6 and both can of course tweak Xperia 1 Mark 3 has of course the advantage of tweaking everything there um, creating raw files and, and, and tweaking even more so I'm not even comparing this because uh, if I had to compare the Xperia 1 Mark 3 with every other photo camera probably it would win um, here another shot it's uh, you can see some autumn leaves still <laughs> lying here and uh, yeah um, in terms of colors i think very comparable there's not much of a difference in terms of sharpness maybe the pixel 6 has a little bit of more information but it's like in this 100 percent view you don't notice that even if i pixel peep i really don't and i have to like zoom in even more to see some difference and here what we can see is only a slight edge in terms of hdr uh, on the uh, pixel 6 you can also see the pixel 6 managed to get to focus on something else so the tree is like not sharp and the one mark 3 has the tree sharp so this is uh, pretty interesting i'm not sure where this was focusing on but yeah it seems like the one mark 3 is a little bit sharper here and there 
And when we take a look uh, the other shot here from the other side directly into the sun, which is interesting where we can take a look who has the better HDR directly shooting in the sun. First look, I would say again, this more bluish kind of blue on the Pixel 6, more realistic kind of blue on the One Mark III. When we take a look where the sun was here, you can see a little bit of a glow effect and yeah, it's not as good as on the Pixel. But we have also this glow effect on the Pixel, not so pronounced. And uh, not, yeah, it's a little bit here, you can see it, it's a bit unsharp there, which is not here the problem. But both have to really keep fighting with the dynamic range, and uh, the clouds were moving fast. So, this was the first shot, this was the shot afterwards. This is why the cloud is like already here, and this is like closed up already. Um, very, very close, and I'm I have to say, even like the, the, the bushes here, um, let's take a look at there. It's so close. I, I would even say here is getting a bit unsharp and here is a bit sharper still on the Xperia. And let me take a look at We have to pixel P because otherwise you don't see much of the difference between those two. And uh, again, I think a little more contrasty kind of look and more sharpness on the One Mark III and uh, the Pixel 6. A little bit, um, yeah, a little bit soft there. And uh, what about here? Uh, this leaves. Those leaves again a bit soft on the Pixel 6, a bit sharper on the One Mark 3. Looks a bit over sharpened on the One Mark 3, I have to say. But this is like very, very close on this shot. And the next shot also almost no difference at all. Uh, the shot here to also I wanted to sh show if there's a difference maybe with the clouds and high dynamic range or something like this but no difference at all so everyone is like saying okay the Xperia 1 Mark III is a little bit bad in the high dynamic range situations I don't see it really comparing it with the Pixel 6 oh, granted the Pixel 6 has a more dramatic high dynamic range effect but um, no the difference here is colors so here we have a cooled down color, here we have a warmer color. And for some reason, when I take a look at the warmer color here on the left, it looks like it could be summer. And on the right, yeah, it could be a look, could be autumn maybe. Uh, it's a bit cooler. The street here is not as warm as the Pixel 6 made it out. It is really a bit cooler. And yeah, um, the signs, the red, a little bit, I think, too punchy on the Pixel 6. Details when we take a look at this uh, photos, both 12 megapixel. This is like very comparable, I would say. I think a bit softer on the Pixel 6, a bit sharper, maybe over sharpened on the Xperia 1 Mark III. And uh, when we take a look at the brickwork here of the building, I think here you can see that the Pixel 6 has its advantage with, uh, with sharpness. Uh, can see a little bit more details, more details in the brickwork here. Here it is like lost a little bit. Let's take a look at the next building. Yeah, it's very comparable. It's the, besides the color shift, where the Pixel 6 tends to be a bit warmer, Xperia 1 Mark III a bit more realistic, cooler, there's not much of a difference. Another shot here on its way, again the Pixel 6 tends to warm up the shots a little bit but also raise the brightness so dark things or black things like this gate suddenly become a little bit grayish because this is just raising the shadows here. When it comes to the focus point there happened something interesting. I think I hit an issue on the Google Pixel 6 because it said it was focusing on this uh, little spike here but you can see it is clearly not really in focus. Maybe only this is in focus and the rest is not in focus. Maybe it has something to do with the um, with the larger sensor. Here on the Xperia 1 Mark III it looks yeah, more sharp uh, overall this little spike. So. This is the advantage or disadvantage of having such a large sensor on close-up shots. You have a very, very shallow depth of field only. Uh, and uh, yeah, very much only a little bit of subject or object that you can put into frame that is really sharp on close-ups. And the One Mark III has, don't, doesn't have this issue. It would be very interesting to compare the Pixel 6 at one point with the new Xperia Pro i that has a one inch type sensor but only the surface area of approximately the same uh, kind of sensor that the Pixel 6 has is 
is used is in use so it might be very interesting to compare this uh, as well when it comes to sharpness I wanted to test out the ultra wide angle again and again what can I say the HDR dynamic range uh, on the Pixel 6 is insane uh, again it is creating a very blue summer like sky very also brightening up shadows and making everything look like a little bit warmer than it actually was and the Xperia 1 Mark III captures the image as well uh, has a bit of wider field of view as you can see here clearly here on the right we have a bit more and on the left we have uh, maybe a little bit less even on the left so but in general it has a wider field of view slightly and uh, more realistic colors so this is really the color of the church and uh, when you take a look here what we can see i think even in terms of details but you can write it down in the comment section what you think i think there's more detail on the xperia 1 mark 3 it's very very close but when you go to the edges of course the same effect that we had before uh, we have oops we have uh, more sharpness and uh, less of this um, uh, yeah, gooey effect uh, more straight lines on the Xperia 1 Mark III you can see, see, see it also here in this little uh, window here for announcements that uh, or blackboard that the Pixel 6 is a bit softer than the Xperia 1 Mark III in general both can produce wonderful images like this here and uh, but if you really want to capture what's there get the xperia one mark free if you want to capture something that <laughs> looks fantastic out of the box but has nothing to do really with reality you can do the photo with the pixel 6 and i also took another photo with the main sensor and here the main difference is just even the dynamic range is very very similar but a bit more aggressive again on the pixel 6 more brightening up uh, certain th stuff here that we don't have on the Xperia 1 Mark III in terms of sharpness and so on, brickwork uh, at the side. Um, very, very similar. In the middle, do we see any difference here? I think it is very, very similar. So basically the same thing, I would say. And now we come to night shots. And that's very interesting because people always tend to tell me, the Xperia 1 Mark III has bad night shot. It doesn't have night mode. You cannot trigger night mode. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the Pixel 6, first of all, has also a night sight mode where you can trigger the night mode if you want to. But it also triggers it automatically like I used to do it here. The Xperia 1 Mark III only has this automatic trigger mode for the night mode. When it comes to taking nighttime shots, interestingly enough, there's not much of a difference. Not much of a difference taking the shot. The Pixel 6 takes about, took here about mm, three seconds and the one mark three three and a half seconds maybe so slightly bit longer maybe than the pixel six the pixel six has a bigger sensor so it has a brighter exposure here for almost the same time that it took the shot but here usually when it comes to nighttime shots we tend to go to the ones that are brighter and it was very dark it's my low light test it's not a really nighttime almost no visibility shot it is brighter on the Pixel 6, but the Pixel 6, even with the newest software update, the nighttime sight mode is like either having like very heavy noise reduction going on or the stacking of photos is not working as good as on other photos or on other cameras um, on smartphones. You can see it's a bit unsharp. If I compare it with the Xperia 1 Mark III, yes, it has already noise. You can see noise. It doesn't have such an aggressive noise filter going on. But the thing is sharp. You can read it, it's a lot sharper than the Pixel 6, the text here. And you can see it throughout. Let's go up here and compare it here. You can see it's both soft because it's not the point of focus that we had. Granted, the One Mark 3 has the noise here, but it is sharper. <laughs> it is simply sharper. And it's not dramatically different. I could raise even the JPEG a little bit, the brightness here, and would have gotten almost the same brightness as the Pixel 6. So it's not like magic that I have to perform here. The other thing is like Pixel 6 is again a little more orangey than the more cooled down Xperia Mark 3. Then we come to night time, really night time, where I have only little slit of my bathroom door open and the bathroom doesn't have any window. Yeah, I know it's depressing. Um, and light turned off and 
This is almost nighttime, make it a daylight shot. I know the Xperia 1 Mark III or Xperia Sony's philosophy is not doing that. But here in this case, both did a good job. I think the Pixel 6 a little bit more yellowy, I think a bit more greenish on the 1 Mark III for some reason. So, well, not so the best. You can see I was struggling taking the shot because I couldn't see the stuff in front of me. Uh, both and here I'm very surprised that the one mark three could manage to do such a good shot shot because they didn't do that in the past so maybe a software update did something to the night mode to to make it a little bit more aggressive here when we zoom in again nighttime shot we can see it's a bit unsharp on the pixel six and wow what a difference the one mark three even took even if it took a little bit longer to take this shot here than the pixel six it's sharp. So the stacking algorithm that Xperia Sony uses here is better. So I'm, I'm, I'm surprised by this, but why is it that, yeah, I, I'm really surprised. I was holding this with both hands. It's not like one and it's like shaking or something like it's holding one with, with both hands. And yeah, uh, on the Pixel 6, it has this little, little uh, ball that you have to keep or the little the point that you have to keep in the ball to make it uh, not go too, too unsharp. On the 1 Mark 3, there's only, please hold it still <laughs> and that's it. It's sharper. Colors. Do we see any difference in colors? Do we see noise or something? We can see the stacking uh, is a bit yeah it's not working well on the pixel 6 it's the same issue that i had before so is the pixel 6 trash for night mode it's a disappointment at least for the higher class or premium class uh, or flagship class i would say um, and i'm not sure why people are praising it for nighttime shots because no it is clearly not it is one of the worst flagship when it comes to nighttime mode and the one mark three clearly beats it in nighttime mode which i would not I, i'm surprised that i have to say it in darker conditions, the One Mark III does take better shots than the Pixel 6. Not because of the brightness is better on the One Mark III, but because it's sharper. And uh, as soon as night sight kicks in on the Pixel 6, it's getting unsharp. You have to be very, very um, standing still or having a tripod to have better results on the Pixel 6. Otherwise, the One Mark III is the better package. Um, are you surprised by my results here? Write it down in the comment section. And uh, yeah, that's everything for this uh, photo comparison. Usually I don't do this uh, video comparison, but in this case I said I have to do it. It's just I'm so shocking for me. The Pixel 6 so highly praised on the left, uh, the selfie video and the Xperia 1 Mark III. Usually like, uh, yeah, and also I think uh, also with, with, with real solid concern and very good concern and very solid concern on the front-facing camera usually are criticized is better than the pixel 6 look at look at the, the the just look at the ground here see the pixelation going on on the pixel 6 i know it's called pixel but doesn't mean that the video has to be so pixelated here on the side what is this don't have this on the one mark three and when you can see you have the brighter exposure on my face a little bit darker and a little bit of like more contrasty look on the pixel 6 on this selfie video and yeah i thought maybe it is something to do with the with the bit rate so i was like looking at the statistics and we have like 20 20 ish around 20 megabits per second and when we take a look at the same here on the xperia it is basically the same also around 20 sometimes a little, even a little bit lo less than this but yeah um, it's the same bitrate so th this this kind of flickering going on this kind of pixelation going on and also a little bit of shadowy effect that i also saw already on the honor uh, 50 happens on the pixel 6's uh, front cam which is very interesting because this front cam doesn't have autofocus it was like yeah almost sure it's like some kind of autofocusing issue on the honor 50. when we take a look at the main cam yeah granted we have on the main cam we have better background blur a little bit more background blur on the main cam with the pixel 6 again more aggressive hdr out of the box on the pixel 6 xperia 1 mark 3 needs to have the hdr mode for this enabled and some tweaking in post but when we take a look at the this playback here 
1080p 60 frames per second we can here see also a little bit of this shadowing effect going on around my hand which i don't have on the pixel uh, on the xperia 103 and then you can see here also in the background this little noise going on in the video that i don't have on my xperia 1 mark 3 so there's some something going on here pixelation and and pixels dancing in the background of the of the pixel 6 that i don't have on the one mark 3 which is very very weird so i have to say i have to give this video i wouldn't expect this because hdr looks a lot better we can let's let's just take a look at the hdr video that i have here taken it's the unedited version of course i have to say uh in terms of hdr in this unedited version if i just raise the contrast a little bit and make my my, my stuff a little bit looks also a bit better than than on the pixel i have to say uh if you like the flatter look um it's 30 frames per second but it's also not worse than on the pixel so i'm astonished but i really you can write down in the comment section what you think about the videos but i really would say that in terms of videos the pixel 6 does not beat the one mark 3 no i would even say the one mark 3 has the edge over the video just because of this little problems there with this it's if you notice this it gets really annoying and yeah this is like a little bit of disturbing i would say for this uh, kind of thing like the thing dancing the pixels dancing in the background that you don't have on the one mark 3 otherwise yeah more dynamic range um uh, more um out of focus area more bokeh on the pixel 6 definitely but uh yeah it's it's interesting i would say what do you think about uh, this little yeah thing that i figured out here in terms of video which video do you like better the pixel 6 or the one mark 3 what can we say about those two phones the xperia one mark 3 and the google pixel 6 that almost is uh yeah sliding out of my hand uh, those devices are very very good flagship devices the largest sensor on the pixel 6 definitely does its job you get a nice little bokeh you get more sharpness with the 50 megapixel count even though it only uses 12 effectively but the xperia is no slouch either if you want to have realistic colors the xperia is not doing much of computational photography so you get the most realistic colors if you always want to have something instagram ready without editing anything then the google pixel is your thing definitely the xperia has also its potential with the zoom zoom is not the best but it is definitely better than on the google pixel 6 would be interesting maybe to compare it with the google pixel 6 pro that might have an edge there because it is using a 48 megapixel sensor high megapixel count again could with computational photography lead to more sharper pictures but in general i think more realistic color more camera look and feel is what you get with the xperia 1 mark 3 and more computational photography ready for instagram and so on shots you get with the pixel 6 uh, that is my verdict what is your verdict both are very good devices for taking pictures i would say uh, you can write down in the comment section what do you think who is the clear winner the pixel 6 or the xperia 1 mark 3 that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye